We're going to start by making our first model in Katia. So open up Katia and go to the new file. And we're going to be working uh, mostly with part files. So you scroll down here, choose part, and then click OK. And make sure uh, hybrid design and create geometrical set are checked and hit OK. So basically the structure of Katia, there's uh, this modeling window and you get uh, a few objects to start with, this, these three axis planes. And then you have uh, a tree here which has all your geometry and also all your relationships um, in there. So we can start by making a point and every object in Katia uh, is referenced from another object and every object has multiple ways of creating it. So with a point, you can see the type. There's all these uh, seven different ways you can make a point. So we're gonna start by making a point that's referencing uh, this XY plane. So we pick on plane, we choose the plane, and then we can specify how it relates to it. You can see you can drag in the window or specify dimensions here. And this will be the offset from the center of the plane. So if we want it at the origin, we just hit zero, zero, and hit OK. And you can see that the point appears under this geometric set. Whatever set you're working it is in is underlined, so you know that every object is going to the set. And managing where things go becomes really important as the model grows in complexity. Um, since everything is parametric, you can always change uh, how the objects were built later. So you can do that by either by double clicking on the object and the same window pops up. You can see here, you can change where this point is uh, anytime you want and it always relates back to this plane. You can also do that by hitting this plus sign in the tree and you can see these are all the parameters that define that object. So we're gonna keep going, uh, make one more point. So click on the point tool. This time we wanna make a new point uh, that references this first point. So we click coordinates and then this will have coordinates but it'll also have a reference and you can pick, uh, if you don't want it from the origin, you can pick uh, any object. So we pick this point, it goes in here, and then we specify we want it um, one meter in the y direction from that point. Now you can see, it, uh, since it's all parametric, if we change the original point that this new point is referencing, the new point will also change. So if we move it one meter away, this point will move with it. So we want to keep going. If we want to make a uh, square, we can make two more points. And if you want to kind of keep going with an object and don't want to click the button right away, you can double cl click the button and it'll keep that uh, operation alive. So here we make another point, have point one as a reference. This time we want it one in the X and one in the Y. Click OK and that point definition will come back. And again, we click this point as reference and now we want it one in the X and zero in the Y. And that we've kind of defined a box for ourselves. Again, all these points go in the tree and they all have their parameters. So anytime you want to change anything, you can go in and change it. Now we want to make uh, some lines to connect the points and make our uh, square. You go to the line tool. And again, there's multiple ways to define lines. Here we have some points. So we want to define the lines from point to point. Select that, point one will be highlighted, click point one, highlight point two, click point two, and then click OK. And that's basically it. And again, if you change any of these points, the line will change with it. So we want to just finish up, make the rest of these lines. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, uh, we can change the parameters within the uh, objects themselves and it'll change whatever the objects are referencing. But the other thing we can do is define outside parameters that link into those objects. And that's really the power of Katia. And to define new parameters, we can go into the functions button here and this will have a display of all the parameters that are already in our model. So you can see each parameter defining point one 
is already a parameter in the TIA, but we can make new parameters ourselves. So if we want to have a parameter controlling, say, the width of this square, we would make um, a new parameter. And you can see this is all the different types of parameters that are available in Katia. Up here are kind of the more standard ones. Real is just uh, any number. Integer is an integer number, so it doesn't have a decimal point. Uh, there's strings, booleans, and then things that pertain more to like uh, scale dimensions. So here we want to control uh, length dimension, so we pick length as a type of parameter, hit new parameter, and here we can rename it, so we can rename it width, and we define initial value maybe two meters. So now to link that parameter, you can see it pops up in the tree under parameters. We can link this into any of the objects in our model. So if, if we click on this point, and now instead of entering a y value, we want that to be controlled by the width parameter. You can right click on any of these parameters and go to edit formula. And here you define what formula, what combination of parameters defines that, that dimension. So to do that, you can just click uh, in the tree on the parameter and it puts it into here, click OK. And now it's grayed out. That means it's relating to an outside parameter. And click OK. So now if we change this parameter, it will control the location of that point. And you can also go uh, into the tree. And you can see the parameter has this hat on it. That means it's also being controlled by an outside parameter. So now we want to link this other points dimension to the same parameter. Again, go to Edit Formula, click on it in the tree, click OK. And now this parameter is controlling the width of our square. Now we can set up another parameter to control the, the length of the square. Same process again. New parameter, type length. Change the name to length. Give initial value. Click OK. And same process again. So in here, every time there's an X, you can change it to this new parameter. So now what we've made is a parametric square uh, that's controlled by two parameters. So this is a way just to organize what functionality you want in the model. So you don't want to every time to go into each, each object. You want to build them all in such a way that you only have the parameters that control the functionality you want. Um, in this case, say we don't want to control both the width and the length. We really just want a square. Um, so we don't have to change each of these parameters every time. You can actually um, have parameters control other parameters. So in here, it's the same process. If you click on that parameter, again, in this box, you can go to Edit Formula and click on that parameter. So now it's grayed out. And you can see it has this hat on it. And it means that now width is controlling both the width and the length parameter. So if you change width to length will change to and now so now we've reduced the functionality, but if that's all we want, it makes it a lot easier. And when we do the edit formulas, what actually is happening in Katia is it's building relationships between different parameters and different objects. And all those relationships are actually stored in Katia as objects. So you can see here, we have one formula def setting the y of 0.2 to the width parameter, uh, setting the y of 0.3 to the width parameter, and so on. And then here, formula 5, setting the length parameter to the width parameter. So everything you do, every relationship you build, it all gets stored in the tree, so you can always trace back um, where you are.